Good evening, family. This is your beloved brother, Minister Melvin, hood minister over here at the house under God in heaven. We have here today a Milwaukee woman was found dismembered and burnt. Body parts burnt. We don't know if this pig, this devil, we don't know what he did exactly in terms of everything, but she was so excited about going out on a date that she went out with this man and this man murdered her, dismembered her body. She thought she was going to get her salad ate. Maybe she didn't want to date black man, but the worst, a black man that ain't no damn good what probably had did was probably domestic violence. I don't know. But what this devil did to her, this white devil did to her, was dismembered her body, burnt her alive, and we don't know if he ate any of her body parts or not after he cut it, cut her body up in pieces. It's sad what happened. So let's get some sound on here. An investigator on the Oxygen Channel's cold case he worked extensively on the Jeffrey Dahmer investigation, which also happened in Milwaukee. Welcome to the program, Steve. Um, God, I mean, I got to ask you, this is the same city. This is Grizzly. There's a sex dungeon. Does this feel a little like the Dahmer case? First of all, thanks for having me. It does a little bit. You know, when you take a look at the difference between Dahmer and Anderson, you know, Dahmer was a lot more cunning. Anderson here, um, there's probably a history of mental illness. So you take a look, there's a treasure trove of, of uh, forensic evidence that's left at his house and on video cameras and with witnesses. It's a little bit different than with Dahmer when you got to remember back to 1991, we didn't have any of that. But, you know, there's, there's always those connections and people are still trying to link Dahmer to other crimes. Uh, one of those being Adam Walsh, but um, you know, and excuse me, Anderson here, he's he's just uh, I don't know, he's he is not quite as uh, I guess charming and as intelligent. He's a white as devil. Uh, him to be if he was a serial killer. Well, y'all black women keep thinking y'all gonna go eat, go out with a white man and get y'all salad ate. These white boys is doing everything dirty to y'all, and you're not making it back home to your babies. In 2015, a domestic violence. While living with his grandparents, he smashed a uh, glass. He punched a hole in the wall when they suggested that he address his mental health. In 2019, he admitted to punching a man who tried to break up a fight between Anderson and a woman. Um, this is the kind of guy that, you know, he should be on people's radar. And shockingly, Sade was a criminal justice student. Are you surprised that maybe she didn't see red flags? I teach criminal justice, and yes, I am. Usually there's a situation. In his home, along with a, quote, sex dungeon, his bond is set at $5 million. Joined now by Steve Spangola, retired Milwaukee police detective and investigator on the Oxygen Channel's cold case. He worked extensively on the... Let's go back and look again in Milwaukee. Well, at this bastard, Okay. Take a real good look. Bring his picture up full mass. Bring his picture up full mass. Anderson appeared in court yesterday where prosecutors say they found blood in his home along with a, quote, sex dungeon. His bond is set at $5 million. Woman accused of... It's sad. It's very sad, y'all. Uh, the black woman, her name is uh Sadie... Robinson. Okay, let's spell it out. She was 19 years old. There she go. Now, they just want to call it a homicide, but he dismembered this girl's body. Damn it. And friends and family say she was excited uh, at work. About story tonight at five, a person of interest is now an accused killer. 33-year-old Maxwell Anderson is charged in the death of 19-year-old Shadi Robinson. Fox 6's Dorothy Matthews was in the courtroom today and joins us live now to break down what happened. 
and Brian Steph, it was a really difficult experience for Shade Robinson's family today, having to sit there in the courtroom and listen to all the gruesome details surrounding her death. And now that they say that Anderson is charged, they now want a conviction. Barely speaking above a whisper. Justice for And fighting back tears. Who the would do something like this to her beautiful baby? She was Scarborough. She her whole body. Was pushing forward for her daughter, 19 year old Shadi Robinson. Friday, Robinson's family sat in court and heard the grim details surrounding her death while staring at the man accused of taking her life, 33 year old Maxwell Anderson. The allegations in the complaint are abhorrent. Um, it is the highest level of violence imaginable. Prosecutors say Anderson and Robinson were going on a date Monday evening on April 1st. The state says they went back to Anderson's Southside apartment around 9 o'clock, where they say he killed her between then and early Tuesday morning. They say he then dismembered her body and scattered pieces around the county. The defendant did a tremendous amount of work to try to cover up the crime including lighting Miss Robinson's vehicle on fire. Last week, police found and connected a severed human leg in Cudahy and a foot in Milwaukee to Robinson. After text messages and witness statements linked the two together, Anderson was arrested April 4th during a traffic stop. He's now charged with first-degree intentional homicide, mutilating a corpse, and arson. <clears throat> you know, family, I'm going to tell y'all something. They always have a certain kind of way that they want to report on their own people when they people do up uh, shit. They always got a way of, of minimizing the extent of the crime that they do when it's racially motivated. They don't like to talk about how evil they is. But they can talk about everything evil that they want to when it comes to black people and they people. Let one of us do something to them. In fact, they love their people so much, they'll let, they'll let, I've seen white boys and white women try to run white police officers over, shoot at them with AR-15s and everything. They don't even return fire. Yet, if they think a black man got a gun, it's a hundred shot. Do, 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 do. But, Ain't nothing wrong with you going outside of your race if you feel like you love somebody or, you, or if you even want to go date somebody if that's what you want to do. Do you. Do what you do. Bitch, watch my boots. So, but you don't go to nobody's damn apartment. Damn it. These crazy ass. These, these cheese nips are very wicked. These KKKs, KKK. The KKK, the Ku Klux Klan, still has a lot of things that are downloaded through the DNA to their people. They know who they hire on the police force. They know loose cannons. A lot of them grew up in hate crime. They know this. And allegedly, they hire who they want to hire. And when you see people like this, white people or black people, sit down with you, with you across from the dinner table. You need to have these conversations and observe these people. What are they off into? They ain't got no business having no sex dungeon in the basement or in the attic or in their bedroom. Y'all know what they doing in that. And if you don't, you're lying. If you say you don't, you're lying. R.I.P. This black woman, this black teenage girl, and her family, I send my condolences. Come over here at the house under God in heaven. This is hard, people. This is hard. This is real hard. This is real hard. Be careful out there. Black women and black men, there's a war against us. And it's not only about white people. It's even our own people. But the pure hate comes from that other side, and it has been downloaded into Oreo cookies that look like us. Justice for young dog, bitch. And take off. I said, let me lick them. So stay true.